Earlier this week, the 2012 London Olympics took off with Israel sending 37 athletes to represent the state in several sports. It has been a few days since then and thus far no signs of gold medals just yet for the Israeli delegation. Now Israel pursuing and obtaining medals in the Olympics has become a tradition in the last 20 years, therefore raising the expectations this time around as well. The Olympics is supposed to be about competition, the, the spirit of competition, but uh, it isn't. It's, it's about winning always. What I've seen until now is in judo, they, uh, yeah, they didn't uh, go really far. I uh, saw a girl swimming uh, and I think until they have final something like that. But uh, I hope that in the next coming days uh, they will be able to get a medal. Let's say that our best candidates are yet to, to participate. We have Alex Shatilov and we have Lee Kuzitz and Shahar Tsuberi and Arik Zevi. I feel that they haven't won anything uh, substantial until now and if they win, I hope they win something else besides the, the medals they win every year. Usually they win judo and surfing, I hope they win something else and another medal and uh, bring us more honor by winning other stuff as well. If they win a gold medal, I will, uh, I will jump and uh, be really happy because uh, I always want uh, Israelis to, uh, yeah, to uh, have, uh, be lucky in, uh, in everything they do. So uh, I really hope that uh, in, the for in the forthcoming days that they will get a gold medal. We shouldn't say, oh, they failed. You know, and we should support them and be patriotic. And actually, they did really good, and I'm proud of them. So uh, I can't tolerate all this criticizing from people that did nothing in sport. They work every day for years. So I'm proud of them. Even if someone falls, it can happen to anyone, and we're still proud of them. With several days still left to the Olympic Games, final results are still in the unknown. And as one of the Israeli athletes was quoted saying, sometimes a little bit of luck is the only difference between success and failure. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.